Hello everyone, this is Aaron and I am here to answer a simple question. Why is Citizen Sleeper? Alright, so I just finished this game maybe 40 minutes ago and I was blown away. That's all there is to it. There's no other way of putting it. I went into this game with zero expectations and it just was amazing. Like I'm going to cut past all the nonsense, all the usual stuff I do. The yada yada blah blah no we're not doing that this time here's the facts here are the facts citizen sleeper is amazing this game is amazing that's all there is to it so the idea behind this game is you are a i guess technically you're still a human but you also might technically be an android i'm gonna go with android so it's set probably in the very 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 distant future and it is very cyberpunk in a way in that the corporations have run wild they basically control everything and it's just capitalism to its most extreme so basically modern day america you play a person that is called a sleeper what a sleeper is is someone who has basically sold their rights to a corporation that corporation then takes their mind and scans it into an artificial body. The way they put it in the game is it's an emulated mind. So you're not, it's not like a brain transplant into a robot body. What they've done is they've taken an artificial body, an android body, and they have scanned your brain, you know, kind of like matched up all of your uh, brain waves and recorded them perfectly and copied them into an artificial neural network in this android body. Now these people are generally supposed to be like indentured servants. That's one of the great things about cyberpunk. It's not great, but it's one of the great story parts of cyberpunk is that the corporations are just plain evil. That's all there is to it. Um, so you, they promise you these wonderful things and they draw you in with these contracts guaranteeing you money and all kinds of other stuff and then they just screw you. And that's exactly what happens to the character you play as. You went in, they scanned you into this artificial body the process pretty much deletes all your memories. You don't carry any of it with you, but you get glimmers of it. And then they want you to be an indentured servant. So the game picks up with your character having escaped. You've ran away and you've found yourself on this almost derelict space station and you have to just survive. You have to figure out how you're gonna live. Because one of the issues that you run into is the simple fact that your body, they designed a failsafe in it. And if you don't get constant injections of their proprietary formula to keep that body working, you die, period. And that's one of the main components of the game. So while you're actually playing the game, what you do is you interact with people, you perform tasks. All your tasks are going to be uh, either failed or succeeded at based off of dice roll. It's very reminiscent of a tabletop RPG. You have to roll your dice, and depending on how good of a roll you have, that's going to improve your odds on, on what's going to happen for you. But you have to make connections with people. You have to figure out money. You have to figure out food and keeping yourself alive with this serum that you're technically not supposed to be able to get anywhere from this corporation. But like any true, proper cyberpunk setting, you have smugglers and the black market to help you out. So you get in here and like I could go on and on about the gameplay. I'll, let's be frank though. The gameplay of this game is very simple. It's it's a lot like a point and click, honestly. So all you do is you click on an icon. It goes there. It tells you, oh, you can do this job. And then you decide if you do the job or not. Or you can eat here and you put in money and it tells you you ate. It, it's very simple. But the thing about this game is the story, the way it is written, the characters you meet, and the artwork around it. It draws you in before you even realize it. I started this game up. And like I said, I had no expectations. I was like, all right, whatever. It's point and click, RPG, cyberpunk, cool, whatever. I'll play this and it'll be interesting. And before I realized it, four hours had gone by. Like I blinked and I'd been playing this game for four hours. And I did that for like three days in a row. Like I could not put this game down. I just played it for hours and hours and hours, just constantly wanting to get more. And it was because of the story, the way it's written. like. They nailed, absolutely nailed the idea with the characters, how they interact with each other, this 
argument over what is humanity, what does it mean to be human, and how do we maintain that humanity in a world such as this? It was insane. It was so incredible. And the music in this game, the music in this game is very subtle. It, you never get these giant, like, raging orchestras or, or, or big clashes of music. There's nothing like that. It's just this subtle background, and it's constantly setting the mood. And it almost works on you in a subconscious way. Like, you don't realize how much the music is making the game. Except for uh, occasional moments. You'll just kind of blink, and you'll be like, holy crap, this is, this fits so well right now. This game, I... Uh, like, I, I find it kind of funny that the game is called Citizen Sleeper because this game is a sleeper game. Like, this is a must-play game, period. Absolutely, period. You have got to play this game. It is... I, 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 can't, I can't say that enough. And normally, I, I will try and go a little bit more into gameplay or details about it, but with this game, if I go too in-depth with it, the, the actual gameplay itself is straightforward. Like I said, you click on things and you decide if you want to spend your dice there and you hope that things work out. It's very simple, but it's elegant in its simplicity. But the thing is, is like if I really want to go into depth about talking about this game, I got to tell you about the characters and the story. And if I do that, I will be ruining things instantly. And I'm, I'm not about spoilers. One thing I will tell you. So one thing I will tell you is you meet so many different characters and the avenues that their stories go down are so impactful. What's funny is a lot of them don't directly impact the story. Like you can help out a mercenary, for example. And if you choose not to help this person out, if you choose never to interact with them, it isn't going to impact the overall story, but it impacts you because you will be missing something. Because the way this game is designed, you are instantly living this life and seeing these people struggling and trying desperately to bond and if you miss any of it it you would feel lessened and i the reason i say that with such confidence is because i accidentally triggered the end game scenario for the game and there were still people i had not met and people i had not fully explored their stories with and so when i finished the game got credits rolling I'll never know how their story ends unless I play through a second time. And that's good though. I think that's a really good thing that helps with your replayability. But at the same time, I felt this loss because I almost instantly started bonding with this person from the very little I interacted with them. I was like, wow, this, I like this. I want to see what's up with this person. And now in a way I'll never know, but I just, I can't with this game. It is so, it was so surprisingly good. And that's like the best thing about it in a lot of ways. It was just surprisingly good. There is not a thing about this game I would change either. And as seems to be the, the trend, this is another indie game. And lo and behold, it's amazing. And it's far better than any AAA game that has come out thus far this year, except for maybe Elden Ring. That's the only game I will give any pass to. But all the other AAAs that we've gotten, they're garbage compared to this. It, and this game is simple. It has a small crew. It was the, the brainchild of a single person who created it all and then got together with another group, people to make the actual game itself. But it was written and created by one person. And I mean, just, you have to play this game. It, turn this video off as soon as I stop talking. Play this game. You will not regret it. It was perfect. And I can't, I can't stress that enough and I can't make fun of it. I can't do any of those slime, any of the things I normally do in these why, vi why is videos because this game is gold, just period. It is gold. And I just, I love it. I just love it. The uh, fun fact for the day is that this is the studio's second game. Jump Over the Age is the name of the studio, that the developer that made this game. This is only the second game they've made, and it is amazing. Instant, top-tier banger for sure. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit like and subscribe. You know the drill. Uh, more importantly, though, I would actually kind of like it if someone would join into the Discord and talk to me. This, especially if you played this game, because it is fantastic and conversations where it's at. So, behave yourselves. Go play a game.